Hey everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here and welcome, welcome to this HIT body workout. It is intense, but I will show modifications. So when you saw that word in the title or you heard it and, that, and you heard intense, it is going to be amazing. One of those where you feel so good after because you did something challenging and it was boosting and wonderful. So we are going to work hard today, no equipment, just your body, and that's all. That's all you need. You can do this anywhere. You can do it on vacation, anywhere, anywhere. Do, 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 do. Who's ready? We're going to get warmed up and then get right into the workout, and I am thrilled that you're here. So let's get warmed up first. <laughs> Knee drive. Good. I've been fiddling with my camera settings and, and not because I wanted to. <laughs> so Jack is my fiddler and he got to my camera and he was changing all the settings. If you are jogging today here, and so he changed a bunch of stuff, which I'm actually grateful for because then I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to do it on auto lighting. So hopefully it'll adjust the lighting so you can always see me. Remember when we were in Hawaii and I was like really dark or really light as the sun came up? I figured out the setting <laughs> that allows it to adjust. So when we're outside, which I have plans to take you guys outside, I'm super, super excited. Jog in place, keep going guys, or march. Whatever works for you today. I'm really excited to take you guys outside. It's getting warmer here in Utah. And so we're gonna go into the mountains. My family's going for spring break. We're headed to Arizona. So I'm gonna take you with me. And I have some exciting, exciting news. So for those who have been working out with me, a lot of you, I loved, loved hearing. We've been working out, maybe you just found me. Maybe we've been working out for a while. Hamstring curl, reach, pull, reach, pull. Okay, if you want to add in that hop. Some said four years. I was like, that is so cool. So I have always done teaching online. I've coached others in building YouTube channels. I've coached them on recruiting, kind of taken the brand, the business side. And I am going all in on health and wellness. So that means I'm going to be uploading four workouts, four a week, and I'm going to have like a scheduled plan so we can do them together in like, it'll be like I filmed it the day before and you're doing it. <laughs> the next day, I was going to do them just live, squat down and up, but I, I really like the quality of filming them here rather than streaming them. If you stream a video, it can be really fun to do live workouts and maybe we, we will in the future. <laughs> it'll be so fun. But when you do that, you have to rely on the Wi-Fi to get your audio, to get your video through. And so I just, I want them to be workouts that you revisit over and over. <laughs> so we might be sprinkling in some live in there. Squat knee drive. Good. That's it. We're going to get you warmed up in four minutes. And then the first block continues to warm you up. So don't be like, I'm not warm yet. You said intense. <laughs> we'll get there. Lunge. And you're gonna tap, switch. Tap, switch, good. Lunge, tap. And we can take our time getting our body nice and warm. Some dynamic movements. So going all in, what does that sound like? What does that look like? I will be uploading consistent workouts each week. So four, four workouts a week. And I'm also launching my own um, coaching. It'll be going live in June, June of 2022. So more details to come. I'm just super excited. Woo. It's going to be specifically for um, women and it's coaching, it's health and wellness coaching, a holistic approach. So covers fitness, mindset, and nutrition. Just, I'm so excited. Mind, body, and spirit, the whole thing. I have loved, loved, loved your comments, your feedback. It's just so helpful. Okay, 30 seconds, jog it out, or box or shuffle, or march. We're ready to go. Now the first block, we do three exercises. It's 40 seconds on, keep moving. 30 seconds off, we have a longer rest because it gets intense. Dun, dun, dun. The first block actually isn't bad at all. I thought we could ease into it, you know? Left leg in front, right leg behind. It's a pulse on the bottom half. Okay, we're going for 40 seconds. Then we have a 30 second break. Now on this first block, if you're like, wait, I thought she said intense. Take your time, focus on the motions, focus on your form, because we hit a, a high peak in the middle. I want you to reserve that energy so you can go full out at the middle, in the middle portion. 
keep going. Pulse, pulse. 10 more seconds. That's it. I'm going to have an active rest on this first one. So either marching time. Make sure you have water close by. This could be a really great time. You have 30 second rest, okay? Go grab a drink of water. Have it to the side. We're gonna go to the other side. It's that lunge pulse. Left leg in front. You have 10 more seconds. You're gonna go here and down. I, I don't normally do 30 second rest, so I'm so used to, let's go, go, go. We will be so grateful for the longer rest. In, block, in, the, in the next block. <laughs> pulse, pulse, good. Strengthening those legs. So this leg, working your quad, working glutes, lunges and squats, you just never can go wrong, right? They make you feel good, feeling good. Yep, yep, yep. It is so freeing to make that decision to go all in on health and wellness, to create a coaching program for you. I'm just so thrilled. Um, I have loved, loved, loved working online. I've loved the people I've connected with. It's just been such a beautiful journey. It was really hard. I run a membership and it's pausing at the end of March. It's been really, really hard to make that decision because I love the people. I've just been so blessed. Hold this, hold it. I know, I didn't make you hold the other side. <laughs> Give me a hold. I've been so blessed to just work with the best of the best. And I just am so grateful for that. And I know that with the health coaching, it will be no different. I will be able to work with amazing, amazing people. And I'm so excited. It's gonna be awesome. Step together. It's a sumo squat, so working inner thigh. This is a great way to do no equipment, glutes, inner thigh work. Just pulse at the bottom, okay? Here, pulsing, pulsing. Now, as we get to the end of this first block, we're going to jump into the second block is legs cardio. That is where a 30 second rest is gonna be like, can I, can I? Okay. <laughs> so we're going into that portion. Now I will show modifications. I wanted to challenge you, but I want you to have options. I want you to feel like you conquered it, not defeated. I want you to leave empowered and knowing that you can do hard things. You can do this. Ah, we challenge ourselves because we're a little bit psycho. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, it's going to be a squat and then a 180 turn. So I squat and then I do a 180. Now if I'm not turning today or jumping today, squat and then I reach up, turn the other way, okay? That's your modification. Reach up and squat. So it's a squat, 180. We turn the other, other way around. I wish I could come a little bit closer to you so I don't hit the wall. I had to change into Christmas outfit. <laughs> I have red and green. <laughs> I didn't know I had to coordinate my outfit so you could see me against this wall. Turn, good. Down, up, down. Who's excited to work out four days a week together? I'm so excited. I'm creating our program. I have a series for all my postnatal mamas. It's gonna be free here on YouTube. It's 15 different workouts, all five minutes for deep core. No matter if you had a baby in the year or 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, it doesn't matter. We're working your pelvic floor, your deep core, so that you can do the jumping. You can do the jump rope. Like you can feel confident going into your exercises because you slowed down and worked that deep core. Oh, it'll be a playlist here. So excited, excited. Okay, we're going to go frog hop forward for two, shuffle back. So it looks like this. Down, low, frog hop, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay, you ready? Modification, I step, squat, step, still shuffle. Let's go, forward and forward. I'm liking this longer rest. <laughs> It's pretty rare we do that. I like fiery fast, but when we have the longer rest, and the reason why that's in there, that 30 second rest, is because there's a little bit more intense or difficult exercises. So I really want you to perform them well. I don't want you just to kind of go through the motions. We're here to improve inside and out. Good, that's it. Ah, let me know in the comments, what does it look like at your house? Are there babies around? What does the scene look like? Is the animals around? I'm in my office filming while Kai naps. 
or else we would be outside. <laughs> I have to be close to him, so that, it may, we make it work. We make it work. Okay, burpee, two jumping jacks. Modification, I can either use a chair or go down to the floor, walk, walk, tap, tap. So it's a walking burpee, tap. Full out, I'm jumping down and up. And then two jacks. Burpee, two jacks. Two, down, up, two. Good, I want your heart rate up. I want you feeling good. I want us to be nice and sweaty. Sweaty, sweaty. You're gonna finish this workout and be like, yep, I worked hard and I feel good. And you're gonna check in with me and let me know what's going on. What's going on at your house? What's happening? Keep going. Ha. I started filming workouts when Ava was five months old. She's six now. Six and a half. Holy smokes. High five. Ah, good job, camera, I'm changing. Oh, it's adjusting the lighting. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're going to that lunge. Lunge pulse. We're gonna hold it for the 30 seconds. I liked that. Okay, and get ready. In position, heart rate's up. Now we're ready to burn it out. Okay, hold. We're going in four seconds. Time. Bolts it, bolts it. Just whichever leg you want in front, we'll switch on the next round. Good. Pull in from the pelvic floor. Ah. My husband has a chunk of time off and it's so fun. I'm, I'm slight slant here. I'm not arched. I'm having this straight back. I'm guilty of trying to plan every second when he's home. He, he flies for work, so he'll be gone for four days, home for five, and he's home for two weeks. And so I'm like, oh, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna go to Arizona. And I have to cut back and realize like, this is his break. <laughs> it's not just, I own all your time, do whatever I want. <laughs> so hold this lunch here. Any other planners out there? I am a planner. <laughs> and he is not, he's not a planner. So I'm like, you have to schedule your time or else I will take it. <laughs> but so I'm learning to cut back. I've been listening to Brene Brown. I love her books. I'm like, why did I not discover her sooner? So I'm telling you about her her newest book. It's about how each of us needs connection. And she really speaks to like the last concept she was talking about. Um, other leg back, pulse on the bottom. She was talking about the need for control. And oftentimes as a mother, I feel like I need to control the house, control like, and she said control is a myth. Like we never, like the idea of it, we think that it's a thing, but you, tr you don't have control. So once you accept, like I can't control all these things, then it's so freeing. It's like, just allow things to happen. You have control over yourself, your thoughts, how you react to things. And she goes over emotions. It's really, really interesting to hear the language she puts around emotions. Because sometimes, hold it, we can maybe feel resentful. So if we're feeling resentful, maybe you're cleaning the house and your spouse is sitting on the couch scrolling or I don't know, any example, you could start to resent them. Where, where is, where's that emotion coming from? If we think about it, it could be, okay, I'm working so hard. Maybe they just, maybe I need to say, hey, could you help me with vacuuming? And just say it. And they'll be like, yeah, for sure. They have no idea. <laughs> You're building up. Why aren't they helping me? Why can't they read my mind? <laughs> um, and if they're like, I don't wanna, I'm, I just need a break. It's like, oh, of course you do. Like you just got done with work. You probably wanna relax. <laughs> Pulse right here. Pulse. Ah. It's that perspective of seeing that through their eyes. Okay, if I can, how are they feeling right now? They're probably feeling this way. How could I better serve them and help them? Also a huge part is leading by example. Now I am not an expert in this. I just love to share with you what I'm learning and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Do not, I'm not a doctor in this. I'm not getting a degree in it. It's just something that I really, really love to learn about and I love sharing it with you. I think the best way for something to really stick, hold it, hold it is to teach someone about it. And that's, so if you learn a new concept, if you're taking a course or learning something new, try and teach someone about it because then it's really sticky. It's gonna stick in your mind. My poor husband is my student in all things. <laughs> I'm like, I learned this. Cool, Nance. Uh, it goes both ways. I learned a lot about pickleball. 
and pilot life a lot, who <laughs> I'm so grateful for. Okay, squat 180. Let's go. Good, squat, go. Woo. Kind of interesting to think of the dynamics and relationships in your family. Woo, that's it. <laughs> that's a good way to go. It's always been a goal of mine to get Dave in the <laughs> videos. <laughs> like I can't see him doing a workout with me. He'd be so embarrassed. I'm a very extrovert. He's very introverted. <laughs> Whoa, we work really good together. <laughs> it works out really good. Whoa. Ah, okay, we need an actual rest on this. <laughs> no, you guys are doing so, so good. You're not gonna see these moves again. There's two more of them. <sighs> okay, who needs dumbbells to get a killer workout? I still love to use dumbbells. <sighs> okay, frog, two hops forward, shuffle back. Now modification is a step, squat, step, squat. You can do this. Challenge your body and change that mind. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's go. Good job. Shuffle back. Forward. Woo. Forward. Again, keep the conversation going in the comments. I, I love, 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 love hearing your story. Hearing from you. It means so much to me. Ah. Keep going back. Forward and forward that we can work out together. We're workout partners and buds and keep going. I love that it's um, a comment said, I feel like I'm working out with a friend. I'm like, that is so awesome. It makes me feel so happy to hear that, that we, you feel comfortable and, and welcome. And that's what I want. I want everyone to feel welcome. Okay, burpee two jacks. Let's just let that soak in. We got this. Modification is a walk, walking burpee, and then a modified jumping jack. Okay, again, if jumping jacks are bothersome after having babies, I have that diastasis recti series coming out. It's coming your way. Okay, that's it. I can truly say I have seen massive improvements. I love to do plyometrics, um, tuck jumps, and burpees. All those things. I also, and I had to modify them for a long time until I realized I need to heal inside. <laughs> I need to heal pelvic floor in my deep core. And if you are pregnant at this time or um, expecting to be pregnant within a season, I have a prenatal series as well. So we still do that deep core connection through that series. Okay. Less chatter dance. High five. Okay, we're moving to the arms. Push up, push up, push up. And we're doing push ups. Now you can be on your knees, on your toes. My goal is to work on my arms this season. The next two months, we're gonna be hanging out because I'm gonna be posting workouts four times a week. And my goal is to work upper body. And I'm still gonna have it balanced. I just, I, I tend to go towards lower body. So you can be on your knees here or on your toes. It's 40 seconds. Please connect your core first. I'm on my knees. That's it. Connect the core, pull in from the pelvic floor, hug the transverse abdominals, those sides, those corset muscles. You hear the cues over and over, but if you're like, it doesn't quite make sense, um, I'll link that. I can link the um, series below or just go on my channel because it's not created yet or uploaded, <laughs> but go on my channel, subscribe and click that bell notification. We have 30 second break. If you click the bell, you'll be notified when workouts are uploaded. So then you'll know, okay, here's the diastasis recti workouts she was talking about. They're live. Um, so they're going to be coming in hot. They'll be coming in soon too. Okay. Next exercise, tricep dip here. Tricep dip, working the back of your arms. I'm gonna lift my hips. So I'm gonna drop down, elbows go straight back. My fingertips are facing my body. Imagine I'm behind you, pulling your elbows back towards me. Focus on your form, slight bend as you come up so we don't lock out those elbows. Good, 
Connect that core. Not just letting it hang. Triceps are a smaller muscle. They tire a little quicker, but we're tough. We got this. We can do hard things. Yeah? You feeling me? Okie dokie. Keep going. So, so close. Seven seconds to go. Good. Whoa, time. Shoulder taps. Now, if you're not going to a plank position, shoulder taps are here in your plank position and you tap. Then you can be here, um, just knees are down and shoulder tap. Now our goal is to keep our pelvis stable. I don't want rocking. You really want that strength in the arms. It's a, you want to hold the body firm. And now connect the core first before you go to that plank position. So you're here, here, hit. These 20 workouts in this series, so much fun. Whether you're doing the entire series of 20 workouts or maybe you're just doing kind of a la carte. I like to do that too. Just kind of picking a workout that sounds good that day or fits your workout routine. Whatever way you like to work out, I'm here cheering for you. And I hope that you keep coming back. I hope that you know that you are welcome here. And nobody's perfect. We all make those mistakes or have those negative thoughts. Sometimes our self-talk is negative. I think it's really interesting. I want you to try this exercise. I've mentioned it before, but you take 24 hours and you have a positive perspective on things. The kids are having a tantrum. Instead of saying, they always have a tantrum. I always have to take care of it. I don't know what to do. Instead of that, we say they are showing me that they have a need that needs to be filled or they're showing me that they are having big feelings. So why can't I, I can coach them through. This is a great opportunity for me to show my love. Like just changing it to the, the positive, changing that mindset to the positive can be so powerful. Okay, caterpillar walks. We're moving into the second block of arms. So you're going to caterpillar walk out, push up on the bottom. And when you get back up here, it's a vertical jump. Okay, not jumping today. Then just go to the balls of your feet and you can come. I like this push up option. I come down, knees head, and then I push up. And then my knees come down, come back up. So it allows you to have a little assistance via the knees on your push ups. So I come down, knees, up, up, then I walk, then a hop. Okay, walk it out. See if you can pick up the pace a bit. Come back and hop. Good job, guys. One more exercise. Okay, walking or jumping, final burpee. So you're here, back, in. Now here you could drive knee, knee. If you're going advanced version, it's a tuck jump. Okay. We got this. We're going in five seconds. You have that longer rest. Catch your breath. You can do this for 40 seconds. Burpee tuck jump. Let's see how many you can do. It's you against you. Nobody else. Counting in your head. How many can you do? Land soft, toe ball hill. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to breathe really heavy into the microphone. I'm thinking of you guys. Ah. All right, forget it. I'm just gonna breathe hard. Oh man, hallelujah. Boom. Ah. How you guys doing? Good, right? Catch your breath. Grab a drink, we're going to push-ups. Push-ups. Okay. 10 more seconds, catch your breath before you go back down to those push-ups. How are you guys feeling? You're so close to the end. So close. Our final block is core. Dessert, as I like to call it. <laughs> you don't need dumbbells. Now, when I say hit training, I really want to get your heart rate up. I don't want it just to say hit, but not really be that high intensity. So if you're not feeling like your heart rate is getting up, maybe you have a watch that tracks your heart rate. Have you tracked your target heart rate? Like what's that high that you wanna get? For me, 
I've calculated as 170. That's my goal to hit. Um, you can calculate, you can go online and just calculate time, time. There's, I'm sure there's a bunch of different places, but you can calculate your target heart rate. It takes your weight, takes your age, just like some ba basic things. And then it will track what your target heart rate is. Where do we want to get it during those intervals? So we can hit that high, get it up, 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 up. Okay, you guys ready? We're going in five seconds, tricep dips. We're gonna lift those hips, elbows go straight back, straight back, good. Slight bend when I come up, back. Connect first, and then back, good. That's it, you're doing it. We came to work hard and we're doing it. Ah. It's so nice to have that scheduled time when you do your workout, whether it's morning, maybe it's during nap time, maybe it's in the evening, whatever works best for you and your family, but make it a priority, make it part of your day because it makes you a better version of yourself. It enhances all parts of your life. You're here right now, you're working out with me right now. You're bettering yourself right now as we speak. You're doing an awesome job. Plank um, shoulder taps. You have options. You can be knees here. If you want a little bit more, knees are on the floor, but my hips are down or on the toes. Okay, we're going in 14 seconds. Ready to go. Meet me in the plank. Connect first, that pelvic floor. You can feel your abs if they're coning. Put those knees down. Shoulder taps. My baby just turned one. I still will modify. Like um, it's sometimes if I'm feeling a coning, I don't, I don't mean just skin, like if it's loose skin, but like your abs are coning. Then I'll go to my knees. I'll make sure I'm connected and then maybe I'll go back. You can fill it again. Ah, good. That's it. It's good form, correct form. We're working to enhance our lives so we can go after those goals with something that you've always wanted to do. Can you add it into your schedule? I know you're saying, I have no more time in my schedule. You'd be surprised how many things you can get rid of. Maybe scrolling your phone, like, I don't wanna do the dishes, I don't wanna do the dishes. I'm guilty of that, so, so guilty of that. Okay guys, we're ready for the last cardio block. Well, the last arm cardio block. We're going caterpillar walk, push up, and then that single um, vertical jump. Five seconds. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, walk it out. Push up on the bottom. Good. Remember, you can put those knees down. The caterpillar walk, your legs stay fairly straight here. If you want, you can also do the um, bend them like this. There's no right or wrong way. It's totally up to you. The straight leg is more of a stretch. The bent leg is more of a quad burner. Here we go. That's it. Come on. You're so close. Go, go, go. One time. Yeah, cha, cha, cha. Okay. Oh, what's the next one? I think, did I skip these? I don't think we, did we do these? Bear twist? I'm pretty sure we did not do the bear twist. I think we only did one cardio. That's okay. That's okay. I'm cool with that. Because we're hitting our, our workout limit. Twist, bear hold, and twist. Bear hold, and twist. Bear hold, and twist. We have one more. Exercise for those arms, and then we're going to the mat for the core. Okay, bear hold and twist, bear hold. Now, you can hold this bear, my knees are hovering, staying connected, or if you're ready, add in that twist. Another option is here, and then I come down to my hip. Here, and then I come down to my hip. Okay, keep going, two, one. Time. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're almost there. Burpee tuck jump. And my camera has a max time. 
it should keep me on time, but I went a little bit over. Okay, we're gonna do the burpee um, tuck jump. Stay for core, stay for core. It will be your favorite part, I promise. Back, I'm gonna shush while we do this. Modification, here, knee drive, knee drive. March, march, knee drive, knee drive. Think of your form, I'm not hunched. Okay, think of that form. Tall shoulders, proud. Here, come on. You're so close. What's your number? Get it, get it. Woo! Oh, I got the heart rate up. Yep. Okay, catch your breath. But first, give me a high five. I'm so proud of you. So, so proud of you. We're in this together. Okay, we're going to a side plank. Oh, can I just chill for another minute? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, hands here. I have arm and leg, knees. Working those obliques. Exhale as your knee meets your elbow. Now the core we are not repeating twice. You'll see each exercise one time. Make the most of it. Have a blast with it. That's it, it's 40 seconds. Come on. That's it. Good. Keep going. We're gonna do a hold for the 30 second um, rest. It's gonna be an isometric hold. Now for the plank, for the um, side plank, knees are here, arm up. If you want, you can take that top leg or stack both legs. Be careful with where you're at today. Um, after I had a baby, my hips were just not in alignment and side planks really bugged me and until they got back in, in their place. It really was, it took a long time um, for them not to bug my hips. So be aware of your body, take your own sweet time. Don't feel like you have to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable or like it's hurting your body. Okay, here, this is a lifestyle. We wanna be in here for the long run. I want you to fall in love with fitness. It makes you feel how it makes you feel how it enhances your day after your workout is like the most productive day, the most productive part of the day. So make the most of that time. Hug your littles, love on them. Think of those mindset shifts and think of that 24 hours of positivity. Could I have that optimistic view for 24 hours? Of course you can. You can definitely do it. It just starts with one thought. And on top of that, you build. So I can have my side plank here, or straight, or both are straight. <laughs> Did I make that look really easy? <laughs> I just laugh. Hopefully you guys can laugh. I, I hope that you feel like you can do this because I am struggling. I struggle right along with you. Ah, that's it. Leg drops, so we're on our backs. Single leg drops, I'm gonna put, um, hi, close and personal. Don't worry, we have two, two clipboards today. It's a two clipboard day. Okay, hands both behind your lower back. Inhale here, exhale as you drop one leg. Inhale here, exhale. Good, connect, drop. That's it, core is connected. What I mean by connected is I draw them from the pelvic floor, hug those transverse abdominals. Good. <laughs> My hip always pops, always pops. Okay, bend those legs, lift your upper half, tennis ball here. You're going to pulse for 30 seconds. That's it. Good. We're finishing with a cardio burst. It's our last little push, I'm calling it our push. It's three exercises about three minutes, and you're done. You're done, I know this was a little bit longer than our 30 minute workouts, but I really, really wanted you to get the full, full hit training, okay? So you're going to step, step, step for four, last one, and now you hop. Hop, 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 
Step for four, three, two, one. Now hop, 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 hop. Other side, okay? Two more, one, hop, hop, hop. I'm twisting, working oblique. Step, four, three, two, one. Keep going, hop, 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 hop. Okay, other side again, four, three, two, hops, hop, hop, three, two, other side, right side. Four, three, two, one. Now hop, 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 hop. Time. High knees. It's a finisher. It's our last bit, our last push. High knees. Clap. If you can, your hop, hop. Draw those knees up. Working the core, working those arms. Good. That's it. Show you from the side. Draw those knees up. High, high, higher. If my hand was right here, could you hit them with your knees? Come on. You got this. Clap those hands. We're at the end. We're finishing. Push, push, push. Come on. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 second rest. Final exercise and then we cool you down. Okay, final exercise. Oh. Fire our feet, and then we drop to our bellies. Back up, okay? Fire our feet, bellies. Let's get going. You have about 10 seconds before we drop. So get those legs going. Fire feet, fire feet. Drop it all the way down to our belly. Back up, fire feet. Fire feet, fire feet. Okay, now those that are wanting a challenge, after you drop, tuck jump on the up. Drop it, drop it. You come up, tuck. Okay, don't have to, just if you want an added bonus. A little bonus bonus. Bellies, up, tuck jump. Modification, fire feet, squat. Okay, fire feet, drop it, drop it. Hit it. Up. Yeah. <sighs> done. We're done. We're done. We did it. That was intense. Guys, way to go. Refuel with some water. Within 30 minutes of this workout, grab a good snack or a meal. Mm. Refuel. <sighs> so we can feel amazing. Ah, catch your breath. Hands up here. All done. All done. Breathe easy. Excellent job. Way to go. We're here to cool down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Reach to the right. Reach to the left. This is that sweet spot. You didn't know that push was there at the end, and you did it. You're here. Whether you, and Maybe you took a break during that. That's okay. You're here. You're listening to me. That's all that matters is keep showing up. If you're doing workouts that you don't enjoy, that don't light you up, that don't excite you. Now, I'll be honest. Sometimes I don't want to do my workout. It's like, I really don't want to do that. I just... <laughs> but I never regret it once I start. Once you start, you never regret it. Action builds momentum. By starting, you're going to build momentum. You just have to start. Start moving. Put those workout clothes on first thing in the morning. It becomes a habit. I want you to pick one thing. Maybe it's that positive mindset for 24 hours. Maybe you took that one, or maybe it's something else. But one thing, pick one thing at a time. Each day you can become 1% better. But if you try and do all of it at the, like, the same time, you'll feel defeated, you'll just feel discouraged. Shake it out, lunge left and right, left, right, left, right. Hold on the left, back is flat like a table. I'm gonna eat my cereal on your back to the right. Good, pull that pelvic floor in, draw the tummy in. 
turn low lunge to the right left hand on the floor right arm up towards the back wall good say hi go ahead and low lunge facing me heel on the floor get a nice stretch in the back of that leg a little spider-man crawl to the other side you worked hard today turn that body let me know hand down if you like that longer format if it's kind of like i would like it every so often nancy <laughs> but some days are busy some days we only have 20 minutes and that's it, it, it's the habit it's part of your day and if you don't get a workout that day it's okay you're gonna have that much more energy the next day so a sumo here drop your left shoulder gaze over your right shoulder switch other side good that's it <sighs> inhale up exhale down Bring those feet close together. Left arm across your body. Way to go. I'm going to grab lunch now. It's the middle of the day, nap time. And I'm gonna feel awesome. I'm gonna have a full drink of water. I like to drink that water before the workout and after the workout, mostly after. Tricep stretch, left arm. So go grab a nice drink. Refuel up. You, um, your food is your energy. Work with your body, not against it. How grateful and how blessed you are to have your body to be able to do this workout and to do your very best. I hope you guys join me on this channel. We are all in here, so you got me all to yourselves. <laughs> I hope you guys have an excellent day and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye-bye.